That is what Jake does. When I interviewed him, he would he would look away. He'd look. Well, there, there you go. He's as it got on, <laughs> as it clip this and send it to Jake <laughs> Paul, everyone. All right, you lot, welcome back to Waffling. Obviously, the boys are in great uniform today. They're wearing these Waffling merchandise options that I basically ordered because I really want to get them made, like now. So, <laughs> which one do you like best out of these two? Think, Obviously, as well, we've got that. Wait, Tom, get it up now. That one that I keep wearing, uh, the, the, the turquoise. One. The one yeah. that's been worn in every episode. Okay, yeah, the one, the spun yeah, that's the spunky one. But um, yeah, we want to pick some colours. Also, wait, we've got these. So oh. I, I hate this one. That it's, is Space Jam. Ready? Mate, that that could be. Or is it good? What, what do you think? What do you think? What do you that think? That is the. Uh, what's the. Female in Space Jam. It's not Lola Bunny. That's the Lola Bunny version. No, no she, wears, she wears white. Yeah, mate. white, white and red. White, yeah, no, like yeah. the bulls. And then also, boys, I got this one right. So this one has the actual waffling logo on. Oh. I, I think it's shit, but let me know. Wait, this, wait, this wait, one wait. is not happening. Mate, that is when not you put, when you, out. wait, Joe, when you put that in the chat, I was under the impression you actually thought it was good. Yeah, wait, the, really? The, the picture you <laughs> sent. I messaged Luke. I'm getting a photo up now, Tom. I messaged Luke like. Surely he What, you messaged him privately? He was like, mate, that is fucking awful. Surely he doesn't think that is good. I, well, I just thought it was an idea. Anyways, we know it doesn't work. This one is obviously going to get the number one vote. Do you reckon? Oh, come on. It's the fruitiest. We got yeah. the fruity audience. Do you know what I mean? As well, we were thinking for the Euros to bring out like a retro football shirt. Yeah, and... Wait, should I not say that in case like the fellas steal the idea or some no, shit? No, I've been reaching out to some people that I know. Oh, they keep airing us. We keep getting aired. Yeah, we have been Waffling aired. audience, this is what you need to do. Tell them, Malfoy. If you know a classic football shirt... Manufacturer. Manufacturer, let us know. Or if your dad does it in his spare time like anyone... We Wait, that's be... actually very common because there's a lot of things that have happened. Well, yeah, because we want to get them made and I think it would look sick for the Euros representing Waffling. But yeah, in more important news, boys... Where you are sitting right now... Oh, what's happened? I know where this is going. I am 100% convinced oh. we have had paranormal activity in this house. Okay, and I'm not... No, this is no. not any bullshit. And I know you're going to probably think I'm chatting shit. What? I spoke to Janine about this in the car on the way here. Yes. And she was like, you can't take the piss out of him because just because he has a different belief to you, you shouldn't take the piss it's out of him. It's not a belief, bro. We've had an experience and it's not just me that's I'm seen not, it. I'm not here to judge. I'm, Wella, can you tell us what this experience yeah. was? Okay, so basically, um, me and my girlfriend, no, my, my girlfriend, were just like, <laughs> <laughs> I don't need to do that anymore. We're, we're in my room, um, just laying in bed talking, and this <laughs> door like of the waffling room was slightly open, and I just saw a flash. And I thought, oh, the waffling lights, like this setup, had just like flashed, you know, like it trips every now and then, like it the does, electrics, yeah, yeah. yeah. It just flashed. Didn't think anything of it. I was in mid... Uh, you know, like shaggy. Oh, there you go. <laughs> and basically, uh, I uh, saw a flash, like as though you know, like a phone, iPhone torch, like just when it takes a photo. That, but it was from like n near the wardrobe in my room, and I just thought, oh, what? Well, it must just be something electronic. I said it to her. I said, I said, did you see the flash? She had her eyes shut at the time. <laughs> She was awake. <laughs> Wait, oh, she wasn't gosh. asleep. No, she I was, was conscious, right? Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. Like I had, like, I wasn't doing. She's just laying this. Oh, what? Well, <laughs> <laughs> I, I can say it. I can say it. Anyway, so um, yeah, she was fully awake and conscious, and I was making <laughs> love. For clearing that up. But, <laughs> but I did see this flash. She didn't, and I think she just just thought I was like stalling or something. True. I don't know. <laughs> Nervous wreck. Then it was after. We had finished making love and we were laying there just like cuddling that then, and I was drifting off to sleep, that then she saw a flash uh, from the corner. So my one was in the wardrobe. Her one was in like the corner she saw. And, um, and then that's when she shut up because she's very like, she studies like biology, like very like scientific, like ghosts are not real, like that sort of thing. Like there's got to be a logical reason behind she's everything. She's very logical. Yeah, she's like you. Logical human being. Yes. <laughs> and, and the fact that she saw it, that's when it was like, right, what the fuck? There, there is something like she has seen it, I've seen it. And we basically then turfed the whole room out to all, like all the electric electrics were off. The fact that this is, this had happened from different points in the room and supposedly in the waffling room, it was like, we were at this point, shut up. I then get this thing called like white sage, which I bought off Amazon, um, which apparently if you burn around the house can get rid of evil energies and spirits. And what time is this happening? This was at around, uh, 4 a.m. She she said to me that she thought Joe had a camera in the wardrobe and was Mate, secretly filming them having sex. I thought I was. You that know, sounds like before realistic, you said you it? checked the room. I was like, did you 
you check under your bed for the guy sitting there with a camera? Well, that's the thing. We did actually go under there. Do you know what we found? Oh, no, I can't say that. Oh, I'm going to say it. Well, we found... Dildo. Oh, my Jesus. Why do you still have it? I didn't know it was under there. Yeah, you did. No, I didn't. <laughs> Why the fuck would I know that that's under there, bruv? Why is it not there? Brother. <laughs> I did. <laughs> bruv, I did not so know. So what did you do with this said dildo? No, it's still there, bruv. Bruv. <laughs> no, it's, it's there right now. And you... So yeah, you haven't removed it? <laughs> Have you cleaned it at least? <laughs> he hasn't touched it. Well, I haven't touched it. Okay, yes. yeah, it's very much still there. I need to get rid. Anyways, beside the point. <laughs> beside the point. No one mentioned a dildo, mate. <laughs> so, beside that, yeah, there's nothing under the bed. There's nothing anywhere that could be producing this light. Anyways, I like, sage the house, like burn and effervesce it all around every room in the house. Open all the windows, like say, please, like, <laughs> you're not well. I was like, you're not welcome here, spirit. Please, can you leave? We have 4 a.m. You're okay. Yeah. Wait, I'll show you a video. Wait, no, no, no. Get the overlay it now, Tom. But this is me. Um, you haven't gone crazy. No, but this is the thing. You're all going to think I'm just nuts, but this is legit. And it's been seen by me and my logical wife. At 4 a.m. when you're really tired, you're probably No, bro. No, no. Anyways, fast forward to last night. Oh, wait, this happened. Oh, I no, thought mate, this all happened last no, night. No. Okay, okay. So that happened the night before. Yeah. Last night, we're there, like, just talking, whatever. Talking. Around, no, no, we were this time, <laughs> just literally talking. Yeah. But we were a bit, like, shit scared that it might happen. But it hadn't happened. We'd been in the room for a long while. And and then it happened again, but it was in front of the door. Like, so this, so it wasn't in the corner. It wasn't by the wardrobe. It was in front of the door. Flash. And it instantly, both of us saw it. And it was like, fuck. I just started shouting, please leave. You're not welcome here. <laughs> but I know, mate. I, I literally, it, bro, it's scary because like, what the fuck is it? It's not actually threatening. It's not doing anything mental. But what? There's nothing to fucking explain that. Wait. And that's what I want to say. Has anyone experienced this where you, like, light form? Because something's producing that fucking energy, bruv. So are you, Something's doing it. You, and I, I don't know if it's still in here right now. It might be in here fucking right now, but it only has happened when it's dark. Are you... So, let, to get this straight, you're seeing it, like, in the corner of your eye. No, I'm, we're fucking seeing it. So you're seeing the... Like, we see... I can we, see what it looks like. It's, like, really bright centre. Like, the, the like bright, bright centre. And it lights up the whole room. Just this quickest flash. But you can see the source. You can see the centre That's what I was going to say. Was it... You can see the source, which is an interesting one. Well, yeah. it, here's what I was thinking, right? We get this message from you at, like, what, like, 5 a.m., 6 a.m.? Yeah, you probably think, oh, he's bummed, had loads of ganger, and he's, he's gone bit batshit made... crazy. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's what everyone fucking but thinks, and it winds me the up. The fact that your girlfriend has seen it, yeah. to me, is proof that something dodgy has gone on. Uh, obviously, naturally, my mind wants to go to, it's got to be something yeah. reasonable like and likely. A car, yeah, but... I know, I know, I'm getting back to an example. It's no example. in your bedroom door. You're like fucking M25. Yeah, like, <laughs> running through the fucking room. Yeah, someone outside flashing their light. No, no, mate, that's, and that's the thing. If it was just, oh, you can't see where the, the light's coming from, fair enough, but the, you could, I, you see it, and it's happened in different areas. If it's fucking happened in here, and then three times in my room, it's like, like and it's in different places, there's no sound to it, it's not like a bang, but it, it's, yeah, so you're man. you're not going to be staying by, hit by yourself. I can't, I'm not staying. I'm going to stay at home. The, the only, I, I think that. the only thing you can do now is either sell the house or go upstairs to the loft and face it. Well, this, face is, on. this is the <laughs> thing. The loft. I don't know. This, this is the other thing. So in my bedroom chest of drawers, I've had a Ouija board in those chests of drawers, like basically the whole time. <laughs> Why is it still? And also that bear that went off in that haunted video that we did on Halloween, Tom, over, overlay it now, right? This bear that, that uh, has sensors all over it and only goes off if it's touched and it went off in this fucking uh, haunted inn that we filmed at. I've had that. That was sat outside my room, just in the doorway. <laughs> Which, fuck that. After it went off in that, wherever we were, that horrible place, I would have binned it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so I've, I've had go. two things that have... That Ouija board has functioned. I've had that work in Mitchell and Priory one time with my family. And then that bear... Um, obviously went off, but those things both in my room, they haven't, nothing's ever happened before, but I'm wondering if there's a link to that. Now, the other thing, and I don't know if this is a bit more far-fetched, but for, for my birthday, my cousin got me this, right? Which is, so this is meant to be the it's a protection necklace. eye, which protects you against like jealous, evil sort of energy, right? I don't know if it's all bollocks, but this is the thing. Apparently, I researched... a depending on what colour orbs you see or flash, a white light is protection. Ah, oh, so you're fine. But that's what I'm saying. What if there's some fucking thing connected to this, bruv? 
Where'd you get And also, Marcus? what she gave me at the same time was she's like being into like crystals and whatnot. <laughs> anyway, she gives me this one that's just like, oh yeah, I've not really like, I've not felt good around this one, but just because it's, I don't, I don't feel good around it doesn't mean that you won't. So she's like, I'll give you this crystal as well as as well as this. What if that's like fucking doing something? I don't know, but something's come into this house, bruv. I don't know what it is, and it's fucking shitting me up, and it's not listening when I tell it to leave. <laughs> why aren't you leaving? Look, this, this is, is <laughs> no, but it's, why is it? Leave? This is what I'm, this is what I'm gonna say. What? Is I have never experienced that, but I believe what you're saying, and what you're saying is that it's there for, to protect you. So be at one with it. Try and connect with it. Yeah, it's but there, I'm not it's, happy with that, mate. You. What, you're just going to be scared for the rest of your life? You need to you need to come on, bring it face on. It's, if it's a white lie, what did you say? It protects you. Yeah, but, white... yeah, but you don't know for sure. That's just a... a what's high... it, mate, what's it going to do? We'll just flash a little bit. It's just... It's yeah, just... Like, hey, you, mate, you've seen horror movies. Yeah, I know, you I know. You just but... don't want it. it it's That's something what... that you don't know. It's like... Well, if what, you've got what two is... options, you either connect with it and become its mate, or you sell the house. Why is it turning up while I'm shagging, mate? Because it's connected to you. Be worse times to turn up for it, I guess. We all know what it's doing in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> is it wanking one out? <laughs> Go on, Joe, just keep going. <laughs> yeah, do you know what I'm saying? You that seems a... doing spirits bath. <laughs> do, you, do you not spirits think? Spirits bath. You oh. got a pervert as a spirit. <laughs> maybe. My spirit guide. <laughs> this is what's been leading. But this is the other thing, guys. This is the other thing. I'd say I'm very susceptible to um, like energies and that lot. <laughs> oh, and recently, for happy. like the past, for the past, like. <laughs> Like week or so, I felt a little bit more like emotional than normal, like a little bit like uneasy, like not comfortable. Like even a couple of times, mate, you know, like the dreaded, oh shit, I can't get a rod on. Because <laughs> like, I'm just, fe- I'm almost like feeling a bit more weird. Like I go to, I really want to have sex and then it's like, oh shit. Oh, it's, <laughs> okay. Mate, it's happened a couple of times over the past week when it hasn't happened in ages. Wait, what if that is because there is a presence in the house? What if there is, I don't know, like. It's trying to mess with you. It's trying to stop your sexual being because he wants to, be, it wants to be the one doing that. Do you, do you not think after doing all these things, like going to haunted houses and shit, like why are you still scared of it? Because I know it's real now. Oh. I've had experiences that I know it's fucking real. So are you scared of the fact that it's going to like make you jump and make you scared? Or like or be dragged actually... down the stairs? Well, no, 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 no. I don't think it's going to do some, like the stuff you see in like Hollywood films where, yeah, it gets a knife and starts doing <laughs> this, this and that. It's just a fact of like, it's trying to communicate in some way, I believe. Uh, it's here and it's just, it's, it's just a fact of like I don't. I'm not in control of this. I don't. You, you don't fully know what it is, what it wants, why it's here. How did it get here? It's the unknown. It's not the first. Like we was in the Holiday Inn. No, Premier Inn. Do you remember that? We were in the Premier Inn, and you literally came and slept in my bedroom because you were scared about the ghost in your room. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, that happened. Well, yeah, no, no. I was just. I get scared that if I'm sleeping out outside of my house, I think in my house. The reason, mate, a large, a freaking... large reason why I bought this house is because it was a new build. And it hasn't got any like history where people could have died in it because yeah. fuck that, I couldn't relax in it. What's it been built on? No, but that's the thing. Yeah, I, did uh, you check? So it's built on. It's, well, it's just a back garden, but obviously we are down the road. Is where the back like <laughs> took place. Pe- Lot Whoa! Of- please bleep that, Tom. Yeah, Tom, please bleep just that. Down the road. Because I've just revealed where <laughs> I live. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, down, down the road. road yeah, 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 yeah. So uh, we, yeah. Anyways, battles happened around here. So you you never know, but I this is something new. Like I've lived here for three years now, and I've never experienced anything like this ever. And I've had obviously people come in and out. Like don't get me wrong, I I, I feel like they people could be bringing in different things as they come in and out. I don't know. We don't know enough about it, but it's fucking. Do you reckon this happens a lot more than we think? But people like me who sort of don't believe in it just bad it off as oh yeah the light flickered on off do you know what I'm, do you get what yeah, I'm but saying like, it, yeah, but you are more connected to this sort of stuff yeah, but so you bro, know if you saw for. what we saw you'd be feeling exactly how I'm feeling because there's I'm no sure ex- I will. there's I, no explanation I'm for not it. denying that why did it not happen I think it would be interesting you do you know, know what I mean you well, talking about so we all do a big fat waffling haunted video yeah but but it but it has to but be something that something that is a proper haunted place not just going to some like random no I'm talking just no 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 I'm talking here like and we get to the bottom of this what, and uncover it? What, do you think, but do you genuinely Fuck. think like you could hunt a ghost? Not in hunt house? it, but I think, uh, if I roll a camera all night, there's a chance, that, well, it's happened the past two nights. Slap a GoPro on. But I, we need in a camera bedroom. that just rolls consistently, and I, well, well it's happened, yeah. You can put a GoPro reckon, on charge, we'll just make sure you're recording, you know, your bedroom, your bed, and like all all that area. But if, if, if you had seen, let's say you, like you were in Joe's shoes, yeah, yeah. and you thought you had seen this orb, or you knew you had, should I say, would you then want to film it and have video evidence oh, yeah. that you have seen a oh, real yeah. thing? 
The would one, you? The, would that the, not? That would make th- me more I scared. Mean, I, I feel bad for Joe because the one thing that really pisses me off is that if I'm telling you the truth, yeah, and someone's there like. Bullshit, bullshit. Yeah, like, like that's that, that so is frustrating. The most aggravating feeling. Especially in the when it is something world. like this, which is obviously so hard to believe. Like, yeah. there's no reason for us to believe yeah, you yeah, saying naturally. this other than no, no, the fact that you're our friend and we I, trust you. I don't not believe what you're saying. It's the thing you're. See, I don't not believe in it either. I just have never had proof of yeah. it. Do you, do, do you get what I'm and saying? And as well, like the human brain is, is designed to like, there's got to be a reason behind yeah, everything. Yeah, yeah, no, that's like, there's thinking. not a logical reason. Oh, what? There's just random flash of energy. Just what the fuck? And it's doing yeah. it randomly, spontaneously. And there's absolutely no explanation. I'm a pretty logical person. That's my issue. Do you know what I mean? It's just like, oh, fuck. Wait. Oh, I just hate that it's in my fucking house. Hey, you know, it is Pete because you will never sleep here by yourself. Every yeah, day. it's like it's going to take. It's yeah, in, the, the, mate. Eventually, you'll get to the point if you're not going to sell the house, you will have to f- take it on. That, yeah, that. well, I'm gonna. I, well, I'm. But I'm probably we're gonna have to do that tonight. I think what will happen is the Maybe. girls. So basically, what it's been is that me, Elliot, my girl, and his girl that we've been staying here like consistently, and that's not been too many other. There's not been anyone else really coming in and out. Yeah. So I think it will just be us for we'll, tonight. We'll set a camera up. And we'll just film, and we'll sit in that room and just just see what happens. But um, maybe, yeah. But the thing is, though, it could be one of them where he ain't gonna come out and say hello. Yeah, that's the thing. Unless it's, you're they're, on your own. they're not a performing monkey. But anyways, <laughs> let us know if you had any experiences like this. I'd love to like know and just see if there's a similar thing. Mm. If you've got any answers, because it's just fucked me up. Now, guys, hello. Today we don't have a sponsor as normal, but we do have. Waffling Mafia member Abby's Cakery who's been supplying the boys with the best brownies and I'm not even exaggerating here the best brownies we have ever tried and here are the slutty brownies part cookie part brownie yeah stunning now you I believe you can win them is that right? Yeah. If you go to her Instagram, which is Abby's Cakery underscore, there'll be a post of us boys holding these. Follow the instructions that are on that post, and you could win some slutty or any type of brownies that you'd like. You want one? Yeah, I do. Thanks, mate. <laughs> Anyways, back on with the show. Um, in other news, obviously, Jake Paul, Ben Askren, we've been seeing them two go at it, and obviously, they had a press conference. We've just literally watched it downstairs before this. Before anything, who do you think won the press conference? Oh, it's so hard. I to tell. think at the beginning, yeah. Ben was on top. Okay. I felt like Jake was a bit of a. He may not have come across as nervous, but I think you could hear it in his breathing and his voice. He was pretty nervous. And the fact that he wasn't looking at Ben. Did you notice this? He was just looking straight on. He would never met. Ben was staring at him for eye contact. Jake would not look at but him. But that is what Jake does. When I interviewed him, he, he would he would look away. He'd look, because he, he, you look him in the eye and that's when there's a bit of like... Well, there, there you go, he's pussy. Un- but as it got on... <laughs> as it Clip this and send it to Jake <laughs> Paul, everyone. Pussy. As it got on, I feel like Jake, he warmed into it. Yep. He started getting on top of Ben. And uh, I, feel, him, <laughs> I, feel, I feel like towards the end, Jake got the upper hand. Um, but I think deep down, like Jake even said it deep down, I think he just finds Ben quite funny. Like I, I found Ben very the, funny during that. The he's thing with Jake, he just seemed like he didn't give a fuck. You've seen it in every press conference. I think all he's got is like being rude. But he think I know that's almost the idea, like goading each other's on, but goading each other. Yeah. But I almost feel like he's just a cunt, but like only a cunt. And there's nothing like he does all that like fake laughing. That's his like, personality. Ha, 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 what you said that his was so funny. Is as a like dick, a joke. So like, that's him. right. So Jake Paul, high control individual. Right. He wants to be in as whatever CEO. it takes to just be in control of that moment. Yeah, of course. Yeah. And when he's not in that in that control, he will resort to things to bite, like just going, you try and speak and going. Yeah, he, uh, he actually did go through. Whatever it takes to just be on top. Mm. There's no boundaries, right? Um, but as you saw, like when I interviewed him, you stay composed with him and you just sort of like answer back, like you basically make him almost feel like he's being a child and just being a little boy. And you start to see him get a bit more like, because uh, 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 he, he wants it's, to see you yeah. capitulate, right? Now, what obviously Ben did well is he like stayed composed and is obviously, I think he just sees Jake as a, as a, as a kid that's stupid. But I think at the same it? time, Ben is underestimating Jake a little bit. I, I, I do, I, ju- I straight up do. And I think Jake is far more motivated in, in the direction. Yeah, no. He's got a clear path of where he wants to go with this. Ben, I think it's a payday. I think he wants to like just you know have a fight and shut this guy up, but it's not the be all and end all of his life. Hundred percent agree with you. I think for Ben, for Jake rather, he he can't lose this. If Jake loses this, done curtains. Yeah. I don't think done. You'll let that happen. But if Ben loses it, like you don't care. Yeah, he's, it's, he's, it's irrelevant. As Jake even said, 
It's his biggest payday. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, ben couldn't give a fuck. Yep. That's what I got from this. He literally couldn't care. If he wins, obviously he wants to win. But if he loses, is he going to care about people taking a piss out of him? No. Because well, that's, I watched like, a clip from no. him on Impulsive. And like Logan and Mike were like literally going in at him like, your life's going to be ruined. Jake's going to beat you. Like, how are you going to live with yourself? And he's literally there like, mate, I don't care if I lose. I swear like, he just lives in like the like he, he Ben yeah. said, I don't care not, if I not lose. Not if I lose, but that was his mentality. He was like, if I, lose, if I lose, like, it's not over for well, me. That's, like, like, I don't, that's the thing, it where matter. he's lost before, he's had so many fights. It's almost like how McGregor is now. Like, once you've lost mm. and you've had so many, like, it's almost like it's not the be-all and end-all. So you're, there's not so much on the line. Mm. And it's like, uh, payday, I like fighting, whatever happens, happens. Whereas Jake, it's like, this is where I want to go. And, he, and I, I, do, I do believe that he, Jake will win. He's also I do, not lost. I do believe yeah, he will. Yeah, I know. I do think Jake will win. Is it, I feel like... On what? Or, or like, I think he's got, he, 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 he wants it more. I just think he basically, wants it basically, more. I, I, I think it's, it's right in the sense of like when you hear Jake saying, "Look, I've been training boxing, and that is what I do." That is whoever's got the more experience in boxing. I feel like will prevail. Obviously, Ben has got more uh, like experience Fight. fighting, yeah. but he's saying, "Oh yeah, I've done wrestling, I've done jujitsu, but that's not boxing." Yeah, and I think just the muscle memory, like doing it, like stay the focus on it. I just feel like. Jake and and just obviously ability like he has got talent like yeah he, he is, just yeah. does we haven't seen him against a proper fighter don't get me wrong saying Nate Diaz saying obviously what we saw against Gib me Deji. Deji like that's not that you can't you can't say we've seen him put up against anything that can really tell us if he's got it but this will be a good indication this is a real fighter yeah. a hard guy like you I know, don't it's think we be should proper. write off the experience of Ben. Like, he's 36. He's obviously, like, during that press conference, you could tell Ben was older. Like, this child is just being Yeah, a, a, a he was panic. funny at points. Like, yeah. he was funny. But I think you shouldn't write off his experience in the ring or in, an, in, a, in a fighting environment. I think that will count for a lot. Especially, well, yeah. he's probably got a good chin. Yeah, like, and you're, you're an MMA w- fighter. Like, yeah, sure, what, you know how from to take a fight. From what I've seen online, like, he has Jake, got a good chin. You know when Jake, like, slapped him in the stomach? <laughs> he didn't yeah, even move. Problem. But it's like, the thing, like, there'll be people that go, oh, look, you lot aren't boxing experts. How can you say no, these things? Not. Whatever. But it doesn't take a boxing es- expert to say, like, what Theo's saying. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? It's just facts, like... There's an element of experience that ben, ben will bring to the table. I just think ultimately the hunger, desire, the more recent activity that Jake Paul has had as well, I think will prevail and I think he'll knock him out. What is similar to JJ? JJ beat Logan. Yeah. He wanted it more. Yeah. Do you not think? Like if Jake yeah. wants this more, I think Jake will win. That's well, that, it. And that's the thing. He was asked in that press conference, would he now fight JJ? Yeah. And he thinks that he's too far ahead of him now. He's, well, he's, he's I think, like I think, that fight is gone. I think uh, it's, it's dodgy because in order to like, I mean, we're hearing all of JJ's coaches say it. Like even I think JJ himself said like, I need a fight or two or whatever to to even just get into the flow of boxing again. But I, I who's got that time? I mean, like, I, I think, do you know what I mean? What's the point? Like yeah. he's absolutely smashing music. Like I, yeah, oh, there, I don't, he doesn't. No one. I'm not being funny. The audience like, do they really want Jake KSI now? Like, isn't that a bit old? Do you want Jake Paul versus KSI? Like, like let's comment down below right now. Do you want it? Like, it would be... Don't get me wrong, it would be sick. It would be a sick event. Well, yeah. I mean, but, like, like yeah. he's just smashing his music. The he's only reason... Like, there's other the things going The only reason on. he would take it is to actually complete the legacy. Yeah, you know no, if I mean? he beat Jake, that would be like... Yeah, it would yeah, yeah, be, yeah. like, cemented. Like, he is a legend it, for it the does, history of Earth. It does feel, like, somewhat un- <laughs> incomplete, but... With that in mind, like I don't think there's any reason for him if to take the any, fight. If we've learned anything in YouTube, people forget and move on so fast. Oh yeah, mate! Like one week, like even on Waffling, every week there's yeah. a different opinion of all of us. Oh, Theo's so funny now. Next week, oh, Theo's a bit getting cocky ahead of himself. Theo's oh, a Theo. goblin little like even twat. people saying like, oh, we want Luke involved in the podcast more. Now that he's sat in the middle <laughs> above the logo, oh, he's taken and stolen the show. <laughs> Fuck him! Like it's just like every week, like I got a there's, comment. There's something different going. Oh, wait, what was it? Because this one actually, this one, you know. Well, it was deep. Well, because I think it the same. You think the same? Yeah. Theo's posture, four exclamation marks. What, is it bad? Why does his neck go so far forward like a bird? <laughs> 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 like you, a bird? No, it is true. If I watch back on Garden FC videos, I play football like this. Well, so does Frank Lampard. Oh, he has holy. a... Get, get it out, Tom. Get, look at Frank Lampard's <laughs> posture. Remember when you, you bought that back support thing? Do you remember that? Yeah. And we like, both sacked it off after like two days. Yeah. I wish I didn't. Well, I would. That's, that's, that's a real big like. like yeah. I do. I do. 
I have an upper curvature of the spine, probably. Yeah, yeah, and that, that comes from school, mate. That's why, you know, like, when you sit on, on stools at school in lessons, that's actually, like, well bad for your, like... Yeah. You know what I, I mean? Like, yeah, we should fucking cancel stools. Everything should have good back posture. <laughs> mate, I'm, st- I'm learning to sit cross-legged now. What, with your yoga? Yeah. Well, that's great. Um, in other news, Logan Paul signed by the WWE... Yeah, what oh, wait, 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 wait. Fuck Hang off. Hang on, rewind, rewind, rewind. He's not been, has he been signed or is he just so, doing an well, appearance? I mean, I saw it reported that Vince McMahon has signed him on a it's big on contract. the sun giving this. Oh, the Daily Star was like that. But you know what I'm I mean? pretty like, sure he's just doing an, an appearance. But still, That's isn't it funny, right? Bitter Weller coming out again. Are you ready for this? Who was the first to do WWE oh, videos on YouTube, mate? The first ever person. The first, mate, I was. Yeah, no, WWE weren't doing them on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> no, but isn't it interesting how all of these things... Why didn't he just do it? Like, surely Logan would make a sick I WWE know, wrestler. it would be sick. It would, no, mate, he'd be quality. Actor, athlete. But put them together, WWE. Well, yeah, yeah, I, I think, uh, but that's the way it's all got to go. Would I you do it? it? If you ever got the oh, phone call. Oh, mate, mate, mate obviously. Mate, I'm telling phone. you, me and, me and Elliot, right, as a, as a doing them on each other, we have more skill oh. than some, and, and entertainment value, than some of the people that are doing it now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mate, we fucking do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mate, well, well, you may- don't believe it? Maybe entertainment value. Maybe, yeah, you, maybe you've got the skill. skills to pay the bills. Yeah, you versus Seamus, see who comes out the top. <laughs> no, but it's all about working because obviously it's choreographed. It's like how you what? like can work with someone. Not allowed to call it fake. Uh, no, but it, well, people it's get fake. upset. Did no, you no. watch the uh, Rogan interview with The Undertaker? Yeah, some of it, some of it. Why? It's quite interesting. He, he, like, he's like, like WWE... Wrestlers back in the day, I don't think they get enough credit of what they put their bodies for. Oh, mate, it's relentless. It's actual, like, like they're all going to be fucked. They're Obviously, all, all my them. young girl... No, not young. <laughs> I, my girl... It's 22. Like, anyways, my girlfriend, <laughs> so she studies, like, basically, like, biology and all this thing, the brain and everything, whatever. But even just, like, boxers, like, wrestlers, they are all, like, guaranteed oh, mate. To, to literally go mental. Curtains. Like, like Footballers. it's fucked. What? You know now no, we're not allowed to head the ball under 14? Yeah. Mate. I've been like I've had I to, actually I've agree had to actually no, I do this agree for my that. degree reading about like the concussion crisis in sport. Obviously, like a few years ago, the NFL had to set aside like a one billion dollar settlement oh, yeah. for players that were retiring that now suffering like neurological disorders like Alzheimer's. You're, you're, it's like you're like the Alan Shearer documentary said like you're like I don't know if it's fifty percent, but it's a high chance more if you play football and you head the ball a lot, you'll just get outside. Because yeah, mate, imagine yeah. that hitting that, your that head is your, constantly. That is not meant to happen. There's certain parts of your brain gets hit. Boom, curtains. Like, ble- bleed on the brain, done. Or even things that like may happen now and you'll see the the impact afterwards. But th- there's so many things, like even the certain food, like your body's not designed to have sugar like it does. Like, as in, do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah, no, if I we know, sit yeah. here and go, right, let's shelter ourselves from everything that could be damaging, you can have a shit life. It's yeah. almost like you have to go, even this DJ career thing, it, my ears, yeah, you're probably there's, hearing. there's, well, yeah, there's a chance where there's going to be that. It's going to be tough, but game is game. The game is the game. game. It's, you just got to decide how you're going to play I, it. Call me a pussy. I barely head the ball. Oh, Theo. But that's because I had a hair transplant. Just get out of here. <laughs> Anyways, wait. I uh, I did. I was speaking about that merch. I did actually buy uh, my girlfriend some merch. I'm going to quickly get it. Wait, right. one sec. One sec. Got it from Amazon. You're so proud of this. Whatever. It wait, is. What do you mean? <laughs> you just walked again. <laughs> Look at what they got. Yeah. Really? Daddy. Oh. <laughs> wait, so it's like it's like a cheerleader outfit. Wait, so you're the N- Wait, he's the daddy. I'm the NFL <laughs> player mid game, and I see <laughs> to my left the young. Ch- no, not young. I keep saying young, but it's just a you're role speech. playing, doing well in sport, and having a nice girlfriend to go back to. Well, this is the thing that I'm noticing more and more. Like, mate, role play and just like sort of creating situations. Like, we'll go on a dog walk, and it'll be like, oh, imagine like reenacting. Like, you're just a. A passer by <laughs> you're, you're like you're sitting on the bench and you're just out here for a good time and I'm just walking by like, hey, how are you doing? <laughs> we make eye contact. No, but you could literally make like nice storylines. So what storylines have you been done recently? Oh no, I haven't done many. You have. No, but I really want to activate this one. I actually haven't <laughs> really yet. Oh, not really. When you role play, do you act as like a character? Like would no. you would you walk in and or would, would you I don't think I'll be able to keep a straight face I like guarantee genuinely I don't you think. would break Role play after I just like piss myself laughing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, know, you would either piss yourself laughing or you couldn't contain yourself. Yeah. It's just like, really, Cindy, when. That's a cool if, outfit. If she puts this on, like, it'll be fit as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> but it's just like. Would, would, she, would she feel stupid, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? Like, would she feel <laughs> <Daddy>. ridiculous? <laughs> Why, Daddy? Would you Why, Daddy? No, it's just like, you know. 
Oh, I didn't design it. Wait, 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 wait. Is this like a private joke that she calls you? Does no, she... she doesn't. She doesn't. It just so happens to say father on it. Just but... so happens. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't. No, no, there was a plane option available as well, but I chose daddy. <laughs> <laughs> well, she game's a game, but like, <laughs> you know what I mean? I just think it's quite good. Well, Wouldn't you like to fuck your girlfriend in this? <laughs> <laughs> Preferably not with the word daddy. No, I mean. no, I need to be, be more respectful, actually. That's actually quite aggressive, what I just said. I didn't mean that. <laughs> what did bit? Fuck are you? No, but it would be oh, good. Sorry. <laughs> it would be good, wouldn't it? Oh fuck! When you have to take, wouldn't you? You'd have to take the bottoms off anyway to have sex. No, no. Are they crotchless? Yeah, obviously. It's a skirt. Wait, wait, sh- oh, it's, it's a skirt. It's a skirt. Oh, no, like what shorts. do you think oh, it was? A skirt. Imagine how quality that would nah, be. Nah, fair bro. enough. I, I feel oh. that, but not no, the daddy. Mate, I, I really love these, don't these like sort that. of skirts. Do you know what I mean? It's like quality. Oh, I'm being. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, I'll stop, bro. I'll stop. Can you not bait, can you not tell anyone? <laughs> no, please, because I actually think I come across really fucked. I say this every week. What makes you say that? <laughs> Seeing ghosts. Do you think, do you like think we risk ourselves getting cancelled every week? Nah, uncancelable. I bait myself out, mate. Like, realistically, like, what are you going to do? <laughs> <laughs> what? What's funny? What's funny? What's funny? I say it myself, bruv. How are you drinking that Evian water? Yeah, sorry, it's Buxton. Should be Buxton. <laughs> no, but what? What? You can't cancel us, mate. You can't say that because what people that say that uncancelable will get cancelled. If you just game, it's the tempting game, fate. Oh, okay. You just have to ignore life and just carry on. Yeah, I'm just open and honest, and I think that's what's good about this conversation. Like a lot of people are scared to talk about the things that we talk about. Yeah, we're not. Know. We're not offensive. There's a big difference nah, between being honest and offensive. Make ourselves seem like actual weirdos. You. Yeah, we. You. We, we do. Okay, I do. <laughs> you do. You laugh at me. You have a pervert as a spirit. No, but this. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. So this is another thing. Oh, we fucking real right now. <laughs> just like you know, would it be well all right for you to watch your like girlfriend just sort of like. Do like a bikini haul. As in like a YouTube bikini. Like try like try on different bikinis you just sort of like and watch. I, I like or is that, that fucked? That's, that's, that's she looks fu- well fit. <laughs> Stop saying it like that. <laughs> but what do you mean? Wait, wait, wait. That's, that's, no, I it's just, just like normal. quality. Yeah, but she's just cl- trying on clothes. <gasps> Why do you look like that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, have you got a boner? You need to stop, bruv. Wait, that's like saying, wait, so you watch your girlfriend's like try on clothes? <laughs> <laughs> Shit, isn't it just the <laughs> sickest thing in the world? No, you see like walk, see wait, them you walk had an around. aggressive look on you. No, you've seen them walk around. Oh, naked? Or they're quite pervy. Mate, your girlfriend's naked and you're like, yes. I do celebrate, yeah. <laughs> like, are you a virgin? <laughs> but that's what it feels like, bruv. When I'm with her. That's nice, though, isn't it? <laughs> You're so in love. No, it's like... You're actually so in well, love. Well, I'm always just, like, surprised by it. No, not surprised, but, like, You're how? Su- you are surprised that you can get girls. No. No, I'm surprised. 16-year-old, like, well, it would be. It w- no, because normally, bruv, this is oh. the thing, this is the thing. Okay, I'm going to be fucking real right now. <laughs> nor- <laughs> normally, I'd, like, oh, yeah, first few times of, like, doing this, that, and the other, and, like, I'm starting to, like... Bored. Get bored of it. Whereas... You're in I, love. I literally am like every time, like wow, mate. That's you know that's love. And like it's just my, yeah, like my, you're feelings, in aura my feelings are just getting stronger and stronger. Your butterflies every time you see her. Oh, I mean, it's quality. And you and your favorite thing you about know, it is the cuddles. You know, yeah. You know, like when you wake up in the morning and obviously you've slept, but obviously there's that split second where you like forget where you are and then you realize that she's there. <laughs> and you actually realize you're in heaven. And you get to just then snuggle up. All right. Oh, so yeah. have, have have you've become us? Have your views on. Relationships, marriage, yeah, change. Yeah, yeah, wait, 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 the yeah, little thing. Because you thought you were going to be Wayne. You could be Gary. Gary! Yeah, <laughs> 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 see, you know, just like fucking... I, yeah, because I was so dead set against the concept of, like, monogamy, that, like, everyone's their own person, <laughs> and, like, the game's a game, right? <laughs> but, yeah, like, what I've realised is, like, I, um... I, I, mate, I'm not, I'm, I'm not out here right now, like, really, like, even interested in, like, like other birds at all. You went from the most single bloke in the world to like, oh yeah, no, there's actually another side to this and I completely get it's everything. It's quite quality though. It is cool, isn't it? But do you think like, that... I bet if you did something cool today, okay, like we all have something, a funny moment. I'm You'll go her. back later and be like, the, the first thing you said was going to be like, I can't wait to tell her. Oh, you're so in love. Welcome. Does it feel nicer? <laughs> do you feel like <laughs> no? Do you feel nicer being in a relationship than when? Whoa! Uh, not a relationship, but Whoa. I've only known her a month. Yeah, you're in the honeymoon stage. Yeah, true. I mean, it's no, like... it's gonna last forever. Well, no, no, no. Just like see what happens. Like, you gotta be realistic. Like you know, 
you just got to be realistic. But I'm enjoying myself, is what I'm saying. It's You're living in the moment. Oh, yeah, it's quality. No, no I'm proud of you. Happy for you. <sighs> Anyways. So um, down. Young Philly. Oh, God. Uh, with his dinner ladies. <gasps> don't call them. Don't call them. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's is that, part of the problem. Oh, I shouldn't say that. Then. <laughs> I'm just quoting what yeah, he said that, on Twitter. Yeah, that's the problem. I'm being, yeah. So they, allegedly, young, young man Philly, <laughs> very young man. Young. How old is he? Oh, right. 20, 25, yeah, I think. Okay, so he has uh, been exposed allegedly by certain females on TikTok. <laughs> it's come always out TikTok. Be like, <laughs> he blocked me. <laughs> like, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> well, they do little dances with it, but apparently he slides in DMs. If they refuse, he fucks them off and blocks them. Basically, he Basically. literally, he literally, he is playing the game. Mate, the game's I'm game. sorry, but it's actually, it's bad, but it's like, mate, it's, it's quite funny. Well, it's just the thing of like, he'll go on his little dating program and be like, she's awful, she's shit. <laughs> and, and then people are saying, oh, but you're going for dinner, ladies. Now, <laughs> this, stop saying no, dinner. This, you're no, the this, problem. No, no, this is the point I'm raising. How out of order is that? How must those young ladies feel? Yeah, no. When they're but now being like, yes, they're on the plump side. Plumps. There's nothing wrong with that. Love is love, and he may be interested in those things. Everyone's got their type. Everyone's got their yeah. type, bruv. Everyone, Drizzy Drake openly says, "I wanna, I want them to suck me dry and then get some lunch with them." In that song, was it? <laughs> Love the type that can suck you dry and then eat some lunch with you. <laughs> 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 you know the funny thing about look, it, there, there is a serious side to the Philly thing, but also there's the meme side on Twitter, and some of them are just some of them are they're brilliant. The memes it's are funny. so funny. At the end of the day, like comedy's comedy, funny's funny, game's game, and I think that's going to actually make a rise. Like obviously, we've all gone very politically correct because that's where the money is. If you be offensive in any way, yeah, you're not getting money because money dictates like a lot of things in this world. Now, I think we're going to see a resurgence again of just like people being able to be free with their speech and actually everyone realise that, wait, we can actually it's joke. It's funny you say this because on, then, I've noticed recently, you know how cancel culture, everyone's yep. on board. Yeah. Right now, there is this change of tide. Yeah. Where people are cancelling cancel culture yeah. mm. and we are sort of reversing time and people are sort of just like, Coming normal again, yeah, and like it's going back to how it, not to Whoa. how it was, Whoa. yeah, to a, to a point that like everyone's just being like, all right, we get it, like, game's game. Yeah, there's, there's got to be a middle ground. Yeah, there is. Well, it has to be. We spoke about like edgy jokes, didn't we, before? And you think like, surely, there's, surely a joke is always a joke. There's a line. There is a line. There is a line, and sometimes it gets crossed. It's yeah, just, for example, our waffling audience now, right? Obviously, where we take the piss out of each other. I think they're seeing that they can actually roast us. And we're seeing our comment section getting like very toxic recently. And it's like, obviously for us, we're like, are we all friends here? Like, do you hate us? <laughs> or do you want to be our mates? Because like one minute we're getting called awful, evil things. Goblins. Yeah, like fucking Goblin dirty, is a horrible one. fat, ugly. But then on the opposite. Joe's seen better days, fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, I was up so early that day and I was, I was feeling shit. Okay, yeah, I'll, wait, we're all aging. You're not going to look fit forever, mate. You're going to be wrinkly and ugly at one point. It so looks puffy every now and again. It's fine. Puffy. Look, but there are also there are other comments. There are other nice comments. Theo looks more built than Joe. Well, that's a fucking load of bullshit. But is oh, it? That's, the, that's what you got to ask is. yourself. You, is mate, it? you do look nice and hench nowadays. But that makes no you know, sense. I actually, the gym in like I, I saw in the comments that someone was like, this is the only place where having big arms has been a bad thing. Because yeah, like, you've been rinsed for having people, big arms. Yeah, but like, normally it's like, mate, wow, uh, you look wedge, mate. But that's, that's just how it goes. It's just like, you only, you only attack something that you feel threatened by. <laughs> <laughs> so it's just like, look, if you, if you, if you want <laughs> these arms, mate, work for them. Don't fucking try and steal Obviously, them. Obviously, in me. the Elliot Fuck thumbnail, off. you were on your tiptoes. We all know that. I was on my tiptoes. I want to know. Just for the frame. Did you edit your arms? No. They well, do they look edited? Mate, they, that's a compliment. No, but they look... Uh, they look closer to the camera. So no, they, they look, look out, out of proportion. Yeah, it's because I'm, oh, I'm close... That, like, literally, I'm closer to the camera than you. Plus, the thing is, was it zoomed in? I think AD. when you zoom in, really it, it makes things look bigger. So, um, that's why all of us three look fine. But obviously, yeah, like, re <laughs> realistically, mate, don't hate. I've been working at the gym since the age of 14. So even though like, I'm not training loads at the moment, classic girlfriend... <laughs> so no, no, no. No, I, so I haven't true. been training that much but I'll maintain a level because I think where I've just been like 
Oh, fuck. <laughs> Trade that. I look, you, I'm so easily hateable. You can rinse right? him now you know I mean? for that. No, but do you know what? You can rinse me because I, I, I'm actually comfortable with and who I am now. And you can take it. I can take it. I don't put it in straight into the waffling group <laughs> chat. Start getting <laughs> upset. I just do. Oh, I get upset, man. No, on, bro. Oh, what I think <laughs> is like we, you know, we dish out the banner. We should take it, but sometimes, is, sometimes we need a bit of love. No, and we do. We do. We just don't see it because we're blinded by the good stuff and we only see the bad stuff. No, that, that is actually a thing that I notice. Sometimes I'll read, like, you know, you get the recent comments on, uh, yeah, yeah. like, Dashboard or whatever yeah. it is. And that's where you see the mean ones because the nice <laughs> ones are normally, like, top rated. And, like, I'll, I'll see all the top rated ones and I'm like, people, they love the show. Best that's brilliant. To, mate, best and then I see, do. like, the recent ones and it'll be like, God, Luke's a fucking cunt or something. And it's like, just don't read them, mate. But you've got to think as well. So we get, on average, what, like about a thousand comments. We get 300,000 views. So it's only a thousand people. Do you know how much of a percentage that is compared to the people that actually listen? Most people don't comment. You and know then I mean? the percentage of them, which are actually good, probably like 95%. Yeah, as in like, they actually love it. Now, on the topic of, like, roasting us ourselves, obviously, we found our yearbook photos and messages <laughs> now obviously we've just posted them on the waffling instagram now please can you follow this because we're on ninety two thousand. we really want to get to 100k like right. as a collective and you're like you're probably not following it so just do because we're very naughty on there anyways should we show up our our photo so tom get me up for now it's joe weller and i've put it's been emotional lads love heart Oh, for fuck's sake. Can't Every say, time. Bleep, Tom bleep that. Well, I can't say that. Well, I don't know. I don't, we, I don't. we don't know. We've talked about not being cancellable in think this episode. Like, and then we, we don't all would want say this that. to be the episode. We all say that. Okay, Tom, just bleep it. Like, don't actually fully take it out. I said something then. I think if we were in the presence of anyone, that would just be acceptable to say. I do have a question about this photo. Go on then, lad. I... Th like, did we have to put our own photos in this book? Yeah, we yeah, chose submit. our photo, yeah. You chose, you actually went out I of your way and chose I thought I looked good that. there. I mean, I look like I do suck not. Yeah, but, but <laughs> you do, do you know what you look like? You look like you're tensing in your jaw. <laughs> that is your... For the listeners, can you try and explain the, the Yeah, so the basically, photo. I'm I'm standing there. I've chosen a black and white photo. I've, that's, that's my webcam. So I've set this all up myself. I'm on my own. And I've sort of like posed. By the way, that T-shirt says Wellard on it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it does say Wellard, but you can't see it because it's cropped out. But um, yeah, I thought I looked really smexy in that. Would you? Yours Was... is nothing. Mine is, mine is the loser. worst. Oh my the worst. God. That, that is you're... arguably the cringiest photo I've ever seen in my life. It's horrible. Look and at the Luke fact Martin. that you've edited it all black and white, except blue top because you're indie. So, Excellent. yeah, so basically, if you can't see it because you're listening, Luke has got his tongue out. He's. Uh, it's that classic year I'm seven doing that part. like Jaden Smith look as well, where I'm sort of like sad, he's, but like raising looks, my eyebrows. He's like looking a bit emo. Your hair's very one direction as well. Yeah. And then, Theo, your one, Which I mean, cool, fuck like, me up the arse. He's fit. Look at that haircut. But what is that? <laughs> Fuck off. YOLO, it's all banter. Enjoy school. <laughs> I did. Out you... of all, wait, I'm not being funny. Out of all three photos, I have the best photo. Yeah, I actually look like a legend. Yours, you... yours is a cop-out because it's a photo when you're actually young at the time. Mate, I look like a legend. Whereas like, me like, and Joe were trying to look sick If you eyes. looked at the yearbook photos and you saw me, you think, he's a fucking crazy bastard. Well, you would think he is a, yeah, a bastard. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes. But at that age, didn't you win best footballer of the year? Right, football of the year. And Does, do you think Theo would be good at football? Because I think people are stereotypical, right? Often people say, oh yeah, Theo's so sick at football, but you wouldn't think that. And I'm like, why wouldn't you think that? If yes, he looks like he watches Star Wars and Star Trek on a regular basis. <laughs> no, not, Star, <laughs> not Star Trek, not Star Trek. But he's, he is the second best footballer in the room. Um, oh, you fucking prick. <laughs> but yeah, let's know, what, what are your uh, school photos like? Have you got any? Send them in. Oh, no, no, no. Don't send them in. Don't send them in. Don't send them in. That's fucked. Hey, looking at stuff like this, does it ever make you miss school? Because well, it's nostalgic, isn't it? Yeah, but thinking sick. back, school you only sick. think back to the best parts of school, like lunchtime and and whatnot. But you never think of like the triple science or something. Yeah, like, man. Hundred meter champion. I was, like Philly, I was okay. I was the two hundred yeah, meter man. champion. Yes, I but was the two hundred meter champion. Didn't you? I did fake an injury. Okay, so this. Basically, right? what happened was I absolutely smoked him in the hundred meters. <laughs> bullshit, years bullshit. Old. Oh, boy, I mean, did you go to hospital and fake it? So this, right? So this is <laughs> fuck, oh, boys, boys, boys. No, this is fuck. So this. Um, I just won 200 metres. Smashed it. Uh, but I was still tired. And they were straight away like, oh, got to do 100 metres now. Mate, my adrenaline's just dumped. I am not, I'm not present. 
Anyways, on your marks, get set, go. We start running. Yes, I do realise I'm last. <laughs> <laughs> so I do fall over and pretend that I've pulled uh, or, or broken my leg. I didn't even know what I was making out, but I, I was like, oh, my leg, my leg. And they call an ambulance. And at this point, I'm like, fuck, I'm in too deep now, boys. I've got to continue it. Anyways, I, I then still go along with it and they're like pressing it. And, oh, does it hurt here? And I'm like... <laughs> yes, and I'm like making it up. They fucking drive to my mum's work, get her to leave work, get in the ambulance with us, take us to Brighton Hospital. No, not Brighton. Yeah, man, where, I, where I'm like, yeah, man. Yeah, man. <laughs> I'm getting examined and like by the end of it, they're like, oh yeah, we think it's... Like, they couldn't work out what it was. I That's still went along. because it was nothing. Along. It was nothing. I bet they said, oh, you got a sprained ankle. Yeah, and I, I just, yeah. Did you tell your mum were you were in the back of the ambulance? No, no, no. I went long, only in recent time I've told my mum. But have you ever faked an injury because huh? you're you're doing shit? You fake loads of injuries. You you can fake cry. No. You do it all the time. I don't. I don't. It's not fake. It's Is not, it not fake? It's not fake. It's real. It's pain. But yeah, like, have you ever faked an injury to get out of something? Or faked, like, not wanting to have sex with someone? So you sort of fake, oh... <laughs> <laughs> I'm feeling really unwell. Just like I'm so ill. <laughs> oh, fuck, fuck. No. Yeah. Right. Have you never faked? Come on, brother. <laughs> brother, bro. <laughs> Come on, say. Have you or no, not? I've had legitimate injuries that have put me out of action before. But you've never faked an injury to get out of shagging. No, because it, why would I not shag? He doesn't get it a lot, so when well, the yeah, opportunity do, arises, do, do he fucking jumps we sort in of, it. Hang on a sec. We sort of really blew over the fact that I was a 100-metre champion two years around at school. Oh, where, where, where? Well, yeah, and I, then I got put third on the relay. Do you, know, do you know how livid I was? Well, you are... 15 years on. Yeah, but you took it. You took all that shit way too seriously got at school. scouted by Eastbourne Running Club at the relay. You got scouted? Yeah. Why did you never go through with it? Just like you got scouted to play for Crystal Palace and never went through with it. Why, Well, that was a bit different. I had to move to... Cro well, I was a bit scared to join Eastbourne Running Club. I didn't really fancy it. Wait, yeah. wait, 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 wait. wait. You got Rank scouted by Crystal Palace and you wouldn't take it because you would have had to move to Croydon. Well, yeah, but it wasn't like a you're going pro. It's a scholarship programme. So you do work at the same time as play. Right. Like, as, uh, so why wouldn't you take that opportunity? I was a pussy. Do, do you, you regret it now? No. Because I wouldn't have made it pro. How do you know? How do you know, brother? What are the chances? <laughs> what are the chances that you make it pro? Well, this is the thing. This is what I'm realising more and more now. Like, you've got to spend as much time out of your comfort zone. When you're doubting yourself and thinking you can't do it, what proving to yourself that you can is the only way that you start getting stronger and stronger. I think I've achieved more in this life than yeah. if I went down the Crystal Palace life. Maybe, fair play. But we'll never know. We'll never know. But I yeah, never would have played true. at Wembley. I mean, yeah, we've still got to do That's more than true. most footballers Mate, we've will done, ever we've do. We've done more. Mate, I've got more goals at Wembley than Messi. Fact. Put that Fuck on my it. fucking tombstone. <laughs> <laughs> fucking hell, that is quality, isn't it? You know what I'm saying? Whose team were you playing for? <laughs> <laughs> the losing team. Because oh, oh. you two had a bit of beef over that, didn't you? Why? Why? Because I swear, like Did you, we? you posted like that, that like best day of my life, and, and I was like, worst day of my life. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, livid, mate. That literally was the best day yeah, of my life. Yeah, but if I scored that goal that you scored, I wouldn't have fucked, given a fuck about the result. I didn't care. Just quality, <laughs> mate. We were losing like six play it now, four. Tom. Play the goal. Uh, play the goal over the top. Look we, at it. We were losing like six four in like a ninetieth minute. I fucking did a McGeady spin, lost the ball, and went up and scored. I couldn't give a shit. Yeah, yeah, no. Didn't it was you quality. fucking like dance around Jamie Carragher as well? Yeah, put him on the ground. He had to elbow me in the neck. Yeah, actually, boys, have we ever spoken? about the Carragher beef on Jamie him. Carragher yeah yeah definitely I mean we have haven't we? no I don't think we truly have I don't remember well me. obviously in the Wembley Cup play this play this clip Tom um, obviously you know what you're fucking like you know when he kicked out of you yeah like that wasn't Wait. as bad as when he elbowed me yeah, in the I know. He... and mine just went under but the radar this is the thing so tell the I story I got clotted mate Tell the story. What, of what, what happened with Okay, Carragher? so this. So basically, early on in the game, me and him had a 50-50 for a ball that was going out uh, going out of play, and I absolutely shoved him <laughs> to the ground. And I out-muscled him. Probably made him feel like a little pussy. <laughs> yeah. But like, basically, like, that, that is just like the facts. And I'm like, I'm exaggerating, but I'm also not exaggerating. That is what happened. I put him on his ass. And see if you can get that clip, top, clip Tom, and, and play it over the top. Because basically, following that, there was a goal kick... It's like, it's like a few minutes after and it came over it was coming to me and me and him and instead of like challenging for the ball he, he kicked he just booted me yeah. but right? I think me and you also had a bit of respect for him during it because well I did because he was calling us pussies and cunts during yeah, the game because that's the but thing I actually think... rated that it, mate, it was a well, fucking friendly. Yeah, but, yeah, but, but no. it's that thing again. You only attack what you feel threatened by yeah, we were good. <laughs> and as an old retired player he was probably thinking like look 
I'm 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 not letting these YouTube mugs like of course. get anything on me. Of I'm course. battering these cunts. So it's like realistically, fair play to him, but at the same time, like what you're not gonna well, we're not gonna just sit it's, there and take was, that. It shit. was that competitive nature coming out. Yeah. I don't think he could stop it. Like yeah. he 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 only knows winning. Yeah. And if he isn't winning Well he doesn't, he plays for <laughs> Liverpool. Yeah, he doesn't. <laughs> Well, you know what I mean. Like, he only knows trying to win. Trying to win and but failing. He, he like shouted something. At you, Liverpool didn't fans he? are going to be going mental. Basically, yeah, I just got to live it because he was like, you fucking cunt, this, that, and the other. Like, like, he was, it was just funny, shouting like. bare abuse. It was like, rah, you're feeling that like... Wait, like, you get, I give no, it back. You, you give it back. Oh, yeah, I mean, it's like... You, yeah, you, little you bit. wouldn't give I mean, it back. You mate, I've got, mate, on a, on a, on a football pitch, pitch he does oh. get Larry. I'm a Larry little shit. Like, I'm actually a bastard on the pitch. But, mate, I tried... I said the night before to True Georgie, I was like, I'm going to Aiden McGeady spin Jamie Carragher tomorrow. And you did? Well, I tried. Oh. Fucked it oh, massively. Yeah. Only 35,000 people. Imagine <sighs> I did it. Just not make them. Mate, the whole place would have gone mental. Oh, bye. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but said, then, obviously, yeah, following that, he then elbows you in the face, rolled that clip. I, and it and it was just a few, full, massive thing of just like, I, he, at the moment, obviously, we lost as well. So, obviously, I'm livid about that. <laughs> but I then get on social Mate. media after oh, the game God. and find a photo of Jamie Carragher where he's off his nut on Mandy <laughs> in our beef. This is this is unconfirmed just before we get a fucking this defamation case through the This is why he deleted the, the tweet box. in the end. Because I'll try Sky, not say that. No, say it, but, but we're not 100% sure what okay. was going on in this yeah, photo. So but what you alluded to was that he was smashing gear or yeah, something. Yeah, because it, <laughs> it, you know, I was so, it was so like realistically impulsive and I just posted this photo out saying, at Sky Sports, is this really what you so want bad. representing your brand? Because, like, mate, and it was like, yeah, I was, I, I did take it too far. You just played in like this charity game of like yeah. 35,000 <laughs> I remember True Geordie just being like, bro, like, don't do it, don't do it, don't, I'm, I'm fucking doing it. <laughs> <laughs> don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. Yeah. Yeah, just like uh, just did it, and uh, look, at the end of the day, ever, ever since, ever since, apparently he did. Um, Carragher did a uh, oh. you know a talk show thing on stage, they asked him and he got him. asked about me, and he was just like he just slagged me off. Yeah, He's just like, of course he would. He fucking like came for his life. I don't think he likes you very much. Oh, Can you blame him? Oh, no. in, my, in my defense, I've done a few shoots with him. He's just a sound. Yeah, we, I know, we met him at I Arsenal. bet. I bet if we like met and actually had a conversation, it would be like Is fine. It, it's just that right now yeah. there's this thing of like classic competitive alpha shit yeah, it is. where like we've only got certain information to go off by on each other and we're just assuming that each other are cunts yeah. no don't get me wrong he is a bastard but he's a funny bastard actually embarrassed dude I've got something to talk about on, on, the, on the the issue of beef obviously last podcast you talked about like all the side men jumping in the ring yeah. and celebrating with JJ and saying you'll never forget that mm. now like loads of the comments were like uh, what did you expect they're all his best friends <laughs> yeah uh. but like what I was getting from what you were saying is that it wasn't the fact that they jumped and celebrated with him. That's understandable. Yeah. It was the fact that no one reached out to you mm. and like tried to see how everything was. Like, oh, like, well done, mate. Like, sorry. Yeah, now basically, that, that, that's what I'm saying. Obviously, they're going to jump in and celebrate with their mate. Obviously. I've got no qualms with that. It was more of just like the concept of, okay, supposedly you are also my mate, even though you're more his mate, you are also my mate. Uh, you jump in the ring, you celebrate, but you're not. You're not gonna like. I don't know. See if I'm it's all right. I mean, fair enough. If if not, but like, it's just sort of. There were certain people that I've been, you know, close to in the YouTube game that you just would have thought, even afterwards, reached out, even afterwards, seen like, you know, what, what, how are you doing or whatever, and and there wasn't really any of that. Plus, on top of that, it it almost is like the sense of, you know, I used to be invited along to certain shoots like people would want to collab it was just like instantly Damn dropped dropped in all sense whereas if i won i wouldn't be surprised if they were all jumping on on you know me and and wanting to like collaborate i don't know like you you got to think yeah, like because yeah. people mate before mine and jj's fight there was so much hate on jj like he like the the crowd was chanting my name everyone was like <laughs> jj's like whatever this that and the other <laughs> Obviously, when you become a winner, it's interesting to see how people's perception of you change. But it's like, literally, and it, that's true. It's because like a winner is inspirational. No one wants to be a loser. So when someone is a winner and they and you know people get take something from that. So it's sort of, I just find it interesting how like a lot of people's perception changed when you know a winner yeah. becomes a winner and a loser becomes and to a be loser. Fair, there were a couple of people that did go out of their way. We just didn't. Name yeah, like you up. said that Simon Mini Minter tried yeah, to come in my dressing room obviously afterwards to, to see me. Yeah. And obviously I you told me I that wasn't today. Even, I wasn't even allowed in. Like no one was yeah. allowed in your dressing room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So exactly. that suggested that. But I didn't know I didn't know that Simon wanted wanted to come in. Like that's the first thing today like, that I've learned of that. 
bottom line is I have no beef with any of the YouTubers. Like it's what it is, mate. It's far in the past now. I understand that like, no one's got any bad blood or whatever. It's just obviously, yeah, just talking on that point. That's how. Uh, I yeah, and I think as well, last episode obviously was going to bring up old emotions and old feelings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think everyone is just. I think everyone right now is just. And oh, adult. Mate, yeah, yeah. Do you know what yeah, I mean? We're like, all grown up, bro. Everyone's like, got all, beards and shit like that. Yeah, like, it's, it's, it's all, it's, yeah. Like, we're all, Water we're under all... the bridge of everyone, I think. Yeah, yeah. So, Theo has just announced he's got a story <laughs> that he wants to quickly say, and it's really important, because I've got one that I want to quickly follow it up with, so don't go anywhere, but This Theo... is the most craziest thing that happened to me during lockdown. Okay. Okay, so, I was on a bike ride, mm -hmm. and I came out of my road, and this woman in front of me had, like, these pink socks. It was very recognisable who this woman was, okay? <laughs> <laughs> And whatever. I was like, oh, that's an interesting sock. Okay. <laughs> Said no one ever. <laughs> Look how red I'm going. Three hours later, I'm coming back home after a long bike ride after three hours. I'm on my bike, the same road, and I look up, and this woman is ahead of me again. Three hours later. That's the story. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck off. Oh, wait. I know it's shit. I know it's shit. But what are the chances in the middle of London, three hours, three hours later... Come on, that's pretty nuts. No, it's good. No, it's good. It's good. It's good. <laughs> that was good. That was Maybe good. It was so shit, but in the moment, I was like, "Yo, this is metal. The boys are not going to believe what's happened." Did you tell them like instantly, like as in your like, your like mates up there? Told everyone. And they were just like, "Right." They're like, "Whoa." whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> so. I have got another story. No, that was good. I mean, I would have been blown away by that person. <laughs> like, fuck me up the arse. What? <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, anyways. Right. <laughs> so this age, I'm going to end on a question from a lady. Um, a lady? Yeah, because I actually thought you guys may have encountered this. Now, hi, Wafflers. Love the pod. Uh, Theo, you're fucked. Now, I just made up that bit. <laughs> I don't know it's why. It's starting to sound very JD to me, that was. JD? JD Sports. Mm. Oh, what? Oh, that? Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't worry. Don't Anyways, about that. Right. I'm a female in my mid 20s, been with my boyfriend for nine years, basically like you lot, but I always feel shy in the bedroom. No, not shy to take my clothes off or anything, just shy or embarrassed about doing things I want to do for him. How can I overcome it? I literally have no idea how to build up the confidence to do what I want. I've always thought about doing strip teases, etc. Um, but I find it mortifying in the actual moment and could never go through with it. Please help me sex it up. So she's trying to try something new in the bedroom with her boyfriend, but doesn't really have the confidence it's to do it. It's basically, right, mm -hmm. the concept of the girl taking the lead almost in a certain way because that, there, she's giving the energy. She's doing things to him, right? <laughs> giving the energy. <laughs> but it's true. Now, stereotypically, not even stereotypically, but like, you know, science and that lot, Men are wired to initiate sex. No, they, they just start. They initiate the sex. They get the rush of dopamine, which makes them want to act on how they're feeling impulsively, right? And, and shag, okay? So maybe naturally it doesn't come as natural, well, yeah, as naturally to some women to, to, do, to give the energy I like will, that. I will say this. Go on, brother. <laughs> <laughs> this should give her the biggest load of confidence. On, the best thing <laughs> no, a man can happen to him is the woman initiate the sex and come on. No to him. fucking yes, way. That's not is. the best thing yes. in the world. Well, obviously not in the fucking world. Oh, but like, <laughs> <laughs> but do you not do you not love it when they come on to you? Yeah, but I'm like, at you the same time. Wanted. But I think also like <laughs> you feel wanted. No, but I do. Loved. I do understand in that like some for some geezers to to have the that happen where the girl takes the lead can. Because a lot of geezers are high controlled individuals, like myself, <laughs> right? Having when the girl takes the lead, sometimes it could feel like uh, you're out of control, and it's like oh, I'm emasculated. I don't know, yeah, like demasculated. But would you not love it? No, mate. Obviously, yeah. But as in, I do, I do understand yeah, how yeah, some geezers may also feel a bit like, whoa, yeah. I'm out of control. Like, I want to be in control. Also, if you're like addicted to wanking and you're all normally in control of your um, pleasure, I think we were talking about. <laughs> But it's true, like, basically... <laughs> anyway, so... Stop no, talking but, about yourself again. <laughs> no, but anyways, the bottom line is, like, the more... Because this is why I used to fuck it when I was younger, like, first started having sex. The more you try and enjoy the moment, the more enjoyable it's going to be for them. So rather than worrying about the actual physical actions of what you're doing and if it's perfect and if it's how they're going to judge it and blah, 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 they're only going to get awkward energy from that. 
Whereas if you're like, I want to enjoy pleasing my man or woman, right? Then that, and that's the energy you're bringing, enjoyment, then that's going to make it be far more sexful than, you, than worry, worried energy. Focus on giving rather than receiving and both of you will enjoy pleasure. Yeah, just, you know, focus think, on enjoyment. You know what, look, right? If she wants to try new things, I don't even think that's necessarily her like taking control in the bedroom. That might be her just like, okay, the striptease might be like a bit of a control thing, but they're like, she might also be having thoughts about certain positions that she's unsure about. I think you just got to firm it. Just, just go for together, it. They've been together it. nine years. Like, but maybe in, in other areas, it may be that he gives off energy that if she, if she was to try something, she, she gets made to feel silly if it's wrong. Yeah, I get you. And it's like, because I know I accidentally do that. Like as in people can feel judged by me. Like as in, like you may be feared, feared to try something out of the ordinary, fear with fear of me shutting it down and like, saying that's shit. Like, like isn't talking it about stories? Yeah, do you know what I mean? Like prime example, like you get wankers like me. I just want to that accidentally just make people feel shit all the time. Oh, that's a bit sad. Do I? Not all the time. But sometimes. Not all the time. Well, sometimes you do. Yeah. No, it's because you got sometimes you got a tone of voice. Oh fuck! It's not that deep. It's just who you are. I've got a horrible tone of voice that makes everyone feel shit. Right? No, not all the time. Sometimes. Sometimes. I oh, think everyone does. Fuck. Wait, is this a new realisation? Nah. <laughs> Surely <laughs> new. Oh, it's, it's a bit like... dodgy though, isn't it? But yeah, like, that it's easy to feel judged. And I know I do that. Yeah, you want your lady to feel like she can do anything. I definitely prefer blowjobs standing up. Where's this come from? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah, is it not? No, do you know what it is? I think when I'm laying down, like actual gravity of like <laughs> pulls his cock down. That's why it's shorter. <laughs> no, no, actual gravity. Like when I'm stood up, like it's like the 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 blood and every, the sensation feels more when I'm stood up. No, on a level, I feel that because what I, I like is I when I feel that, bro. When the, I, yes. when the girl is uh squatting and doing it oh yeah there's fucking i think there's an ear of dominance no, no, no. <laughs> do you reckon that's why i like wank into the shower yeah you what <laughs> yeah but you wank into the shower with the shower off you did that in la when we were sharing a room buddy i heard you, <laughs> Wait, you were sitting i shut up a camera <laughs> you were sitting in your bed while me and luke were asleep noshing one off and spunking all over yourself i've done that for <laughs> i've done that for years Pearl. that's not right though that's not. That is a bit like <laughs> you are at one with your spirit. I'm really fucked up, bruv. <laughs> I don't think. No, no. I mean, look. I fucked. What we've, taken, what we've, ta what we've taken away from this is that your spirit animal is literally a pervert. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't right. It ain't good. But I do love it. I, I go to football training. No, you haven't got to go to football training. It's the 29th. Lockdown is over. Lockdown is over. Well. Well, some no, I think like certain restrictions have been lifted. Sports and activities are back. Oh, what like, like it's in like bubble, out of bubble parties. No, if you have an arranged- Fucking no. BJ parties. No, BJ, well, it's- BJ, 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 for those of you that, that missed Whoa. the last episode, <laughs> don't be too excited. Um, yeah, follow, follow my new DJ tour with Elliot. Parallel 9. That's what this is. <laughs> Continue. Well, then, he was ending. He was, oh, he he was ending. rounding up the show. Oh, oh, he was rounding up the show. Well, let us know you lot. Um, oh, wait, yeah. What? We've got a cool collab coming, coming tomorrow. Oh, you're collaborating with someone? Who? Ben Foster. Like so, yeah, anyways. Yeah, no, 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 no. <laughs> no, yeah that, no, that is cool. He's become a YouTuber, hasn't he? This video is sick. Yeah, I think if more actual athletes that were in the professional game no, like, so filmed, true. we'd all, we'd Mate, all have so that true. insight. Alfonso it, Davis, he does it, doesn't bangs he? It. It made, yeah. If Watford go to the Prem, he's going to be vlogging. Watford? Watford go to oh, the Prem. Oh, Watford, yeah. He's going to be vlogging versus City. Yeah, mate, that'd be sick. Well, yo, a great hero. Oh, fuck. Aguero. Fucking Aguero. Gotta go football training. Please. Yeah, so anyways, let us know you lot. Do you want us to speak about any more interesting topics? Like, actually let us know, because we've got far more episodes coming up. And they Plus, don't have to be Would sexual. you like us to like get high as a fucking kite and do an episode? In Amsterdam. Obviously, if we went to Amsterdam and it was totally legal, right? Because realistically, <laughs> we've had this idea of like, we want to do little like pay-per-views. Yeah, well, it's so in between seasons, because we're doing seasons, we're going to have breaks. So we're thinking if we drop like one pay-per-view, it's not going to be a lot of money. Basically like two quid, mate. Like yeah. obviously like two quid. What's that? Like Bola Buxton. Not like a fun uh, trip to Dam. 
Yeah, do you know what I mean? Like, basically, we want to... Stop. (laughs) (laughs) We want to do, like, two quid each, and we'll do what? Like, really fucked up, dodgy episodes? Bloody worth it, mate. That'll go well for you. (laughs) What do you mean? I'll be even more loose. Imagine the shit I'll come out with. I've got secrets in here, mate, and they firmly they locked. Never, they never need to come out, ever. They might, though. What? If you... Yeah, so we're basically doing OnlyFans, but for uh, getting fucked. Right. I just imagined us, like, dressing <laughs> The, the pay-per-view could be anything. <laughs> oh, yeah, it could be anything, but t- t- tell us some uh, suggestions if you, like, can think of any. And if you've got to this point, please comment down below saying, Joe... I can't wait for the Parallel 9 DJ tour that you and Elliot are doing. You big I'm going to be front row and I might give you whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. some jelly beans. If you know what I mean. <laughs> Date rape drugs. No one said anything no about one said that. that. Well, that's what you're alluding to. Jelly no, beans? Not. Is that a nickname? Jelly beans? Oh. oh, is it like pills? Or oh, Mandy? Right, what? Well, thanks for watching. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> right. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. It's been actually quite good. Very varied discussions and just like mm. interesting points. Uh, please follow us on social. So at Waffling Podcast on Instagram and Road at Waff- K. Yep, and at Waffling Pod on Twitter and and Facebook. Facebook that I always forget. <laughs> just like Waffling Podcast. Yeah, because we're gonna be uploading clips and videos to that very very soon. So yeah, hope you've enjoyed us. We've been waffling. You've been you, and we'll see you next time. <laughs> Bye. Woo! I just imagined us dressing this room up and pretending we're in Amsterdam. Oh, surely, we mate, do we that. could easily do that. Yeah. yeah no, oh no, cut the cameras! Cut the cameras! <laughs> <laughs>